As Onyx and George continued exploring Hawaiian islands, they couldn't help but notice the awe-inspiring presence of volcanoes. These towering giants stood tall, with their peaks often hidden beneath a blanket of clouds. The locals had always respected and revered these volcanoes, understanding their power and significance in shaping the land. One day, while wandering through a dense forest, Onyx and George found themselves in unfamiliar territory. As they emerged from the trees, their eyes widened in astonishment. Before them stood a massive volcano, its fiery glow visible even in the daylight. What is it, George? Onyx asked in astonishment. It's a volcano, Onyx, George explained. Imagine a volcano as a big mountain that sometimes becomes very active. Inside this mountain, there is a special place called a magma chamber where hot, melted rock called magma is stored. When the pressure inside the mountain becomes too strong, the magma tries to escape. So, what happens next? Well, the magma pushes its way up to the top of the volcano through a pipe called a vent. When the magma reaches the surface, it explodes out of the volcano in a powerful eruption. This explosion sends out hot rocks, ash, and gases high up into the sky. Sometimes, the lava flows down the sides of the volcano like a river of fire. As it cools, it hardens and creates new land. Over time, these eruptions and lava flows can shape the landscape and create beautiful mountains and islands. As Onyx and George walked near the volcano, they suddenly heard a loud rumble. Onyx looked at George, his eyes filled with worry. The ground shook, and they saw smoke and fire coming from the volcano. It was really scary because it meant the volcano could explode at any moment. But just when they were feeling terrified, they heard big steps behind them. It was an elephant named Jumbo. Jumbo was a magnificent creature with a tall stature and gentle eyes that sparkled with wisdom. His wrinkled gray skin told stories of a life filled with adventure and wisdom. Jumbo acted quickly, using his strong trunk to grab Onyx and George and place them gently on his back. They held on tight as Jumbo began to run making sure they were far away from the dangerous volcano. With each heavy step, Jumbo carried them swiftly through the rocky terrain. Onyx and George could feel the wind rushing past their fur as they held on to Jumbo's sturdy back. They felt safe and protected, knowing that Jumbo would keep them out of harm's way. Jumbo's enormous size and strength allowed them to move quickly, and they soon reached a safe distance from the volcano. They looked back and saw the volcano erupting, spewing out fiery lava and billowing smoke. It was a sight that both amazed and frightened them. As they were finally safe, Jumbo shared with Onyx and George an interesting legend. Long ago, in the mystical land of Hawaii, there was a legend that spoke of a powerful volcano named Pele. Pele was not just an ordinary volcano but a goddess the deity of fire, lightning, wind, and volcanoes. She was known for her fiery temperament and fierce power. According to the legend, Pele was a wandering goddess who traveled across the Hawaiian islands in search of a permanent home. As she journeyed, she left a trail of volcanic eruptions and fiery displays behind her. The people of Hawaii revered her as both a creator and a destroyer. It is said that Pell's spirit resided within the Kilauea volcano, her sacred dwelling place. The locals believed that her fiery energy brought both blessings and challenges to the land. The volcanic eruptions were seen as her fierce battles, spewing lava and molten rocks, shaping the landscape and creating new land. The legend told of Pell's passionate and tempestuous nature comparing her fiery spirit to the intensity of her volcanic eruptions. She was often depicted as a beautiful and powerful goddess with flowing red hair, symbolizing the molten lava that flowed from the volcano. The legend also spoke of the sacred relationship between Pele and the Hawaiian people. They believed that she tested their strength and determination, offering them opportunities for growth and renewal. They offered prayers and performed rituals to honor and appease Pele, seeking her protection and blessings. To this day, the legend of Pele continues to be passed down through generations, reminding the people of Hawaii of the raw power 
and beauty of nature. It serves as a reminder to respect and coexist with the forces of the earth, knowing that they have the ability to both create and destroy. The legend of Pele and her volcano is a testament to the deep spiritual connection between the Hawaiian people and the land they inhabit. It teaches the importance of harmony and balance, recognizing that even the most powerful forces can be both destructive and transformative. Onyx and George were in awe of Jumbo's presence and the stories he shared. Jumbo explained to Onyx and George that the volcano, while powerful and unpredictable, had its own rhythm and patterns. He shared stories of how the Hawaiian people lived harmoniously with the volcanoes, respecting their might and using their fertile lands for agriculture. With Jumbo's guidance, Onyx and George learned about the importance of listening to nature's cues and being aware of the signs of potential danger. They discovered that there were designated safe zones and paths to follow when near volcanoes. With newfound knowledge and a sense of respect for the volcanic forces, Onyx and George felt a renewed sense of adventure. They admired the volcano from a safe distance, marveling at its raw beauty and the incredible forces of nature at play. The encounter with the volcano taught them to approach unfamiliar and potentially dangerous situations with passion and respect. They understood the importance of seeking guidance from those who possess knowledge and experience. As they bid farewell to the volcano and continued their journey, Onyx and George carried the wisdom and awe-inspiring memories of the volcano with them. They were now even more attuned to the powerful forces of nature that surrounded them, and they embraced the beauty and harmony of the Hawaiian Islands with a newfound appreciation.